Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way through Lindell, the royal capital. But before we do, like always, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And really, I didn't do anything. The only thing I did was change out my prattling pate to your beautiful and it's going to come in handy here in just a bit. All right. So now that that's all been said, let's go ahead and go to our map. We're going to come all the way up to the Altus Plateau and go over to the Altus Highway Junction. I'll see everybody over there. We're going to go ahead and talk to Bach for just a bit. Bach the seamster, at your service, master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Master, my apologies. Your wardrobe includes the garb of the old demigods, and I'm afraid I can't make adjustments to them. <laughs> my mum told me once that a royal seamster would do them up in a jiffy. Just wait, master. Before long, I'll be that good too. So we can go ahead and give him the golden needle now. Is that a gift for my undeserving self? Thank you kindly. But what on earth could it... Oh, what? Amazing. I've never seen a golden needle. Not in all my life. With a spectacular royal crest to boot, are you certain that this is for me? Oh, I can hardly believe it. Have faith in me, Master. I'll polish my craft enough that I deserve this golden gift. I'll be the golden seamster, Bok. Now I'll be able to sew anything, even the threads of the demigods. Master, may I ask you something? Would you mind if I called you Lord? I heard that you and the other tarnished seek the throne of the Elden Lord. Well, I know that you will be the one. And you'd make just the manner of kind-hearted lord that I'd wish for. So please, if you would, allow me to call you lord. You don't say. Thank you. Thank you. My lord. My lord. My lord. Please become Elden Lord. And please let I, Bok the Seamster, remain at your side. Do you think that Mum would be pleased if she knew that I'm as good as any royal seamster now? Oh, it's still not enough. I need to learn how to sew from scratch like her. So now we can go ahead and alter the garments or armor of the demigods because we gave Bach the golden needle, and he also gave us a gesture. We're going already, my plea. Let's go ahead and rest at this grace. We're going to talk to Melina for a minute. Your seamster, Bach. I see him crying from time to time. I think he misses his mother. He wants someone to tell him he's beautiful. Does being born of a mother mean one behaves in such a manner? Let's go ahead and tell Bach that he's beautiful. You're beautiful. Bach the seamster at your sir, ready to make adjustment. Did I just hear my mum speaking? Thank you very much. Mum was always the only one who said I was beautiful. And now, my dear lord, let me hear her voice. 
Oh, please, if I may dream just once, do you feel the same way my mum did, my lord? Do you think I'm beautiful despite these looks? <laughs> oh, my lord, my dear lord, I, Bok the seamster, am forever in your service. May the throne of Elden Lord be yours. We're going on a plea. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the capital ramparts. We're finally going to start traversing Lindau. After all that dialogue. Grab some magic grease. And then over to the left. Grab a for calling finger remedy. And then right there is the Ur tree. Man, thing is huge. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna light this grace and we're gonna sit at it. bringing me to the base of the Erd Tree. Here, I can govern my own movement, and thus, the accord is fulfilled. I shall depart to ascertain the purpose I was given. Farewell. I shall leave Torrent, and the power to turn runes into strength. Here, with you, I wish you luck in realizing your ambition. You have fought long and hard. I have no doubt you will become Elden Lord. May you take the throne. So we won't see Melina for a good long while. Go ahead and activate this summoning pool. We're gonna take these guys out. You can farm their weapons if you want. Totally up to you. Take that one out. We're just gonna backtrack just for a second. Come up these stairs. Kill this big envoy. Or envoy. I think it's envoy, not envoy. I don't know. You can also get uh, its weapon as well, the bigger one. I've never personally got them, but I know that you can get them. Just keep following along here. To our right is going to be an elevator. We'll be taking that in just a moment. First, we want to come up to the top and kill that gargoyle and a page knight. That made my job easier by hopping off there. Take out this gargoyle. Get yourself a golden rune seven. Uh, we'll just hop off right here. Take the elevator down.
take out that perfumer. Come over here for a chest. Get some more perfume bottles. Should have quite a few at this point. Off to the left, we're going to have a page night. Get the red branch short bow from him. That's cool. Never used that before. I'll have to check it out one of these days. See how good it is. So before we go back through this doorway, we're going to hop off to the left here. And then hop onto this roof right over here. Let's grab ourselves a smithing stone five. And then we're going to hop back on this ledge. That's where the perfumers were. We're going to go up these stairs, grab ourselves a seed bed curse. Come down over here and then we want to go through this doorway. about those commoners over there we're gonna come back over here and this page knight that is playing the flute we're gonna take him out get a smithing stone six so if you're not at the same level as me by the time we get through Lindell you should be at least level 160 or close to it just get so many runes here we're gonna crouch and we're gonna take out this big knight here So off to the right, we're going to have somebody being sneaky. So you don't really have to come over here. I just wanted to show everybody that you can get a bunch of Mikola's lilies over here. So we're just backtracking for a minute. And now we want to go through this doorway. So this is a very intense encounter. There's a page knight across the way. We want to kill them first. That is a very dangerous page knight. It's got one of those crossbows that shoot out three bolts. And they're shooting explosive bolts, so yeah. Super dangerous. Be careful. My advice, take the Page Knight first, and then the other two perfumers. They're pretty simple to take out. So we have another Lindell Knight over there. First, we want to come over to the left. Take out that sneaky guy right there. Grab ourselves some fan daggers. And then over here, let's put our shield on. Then we're going to summon in our mimic tier. I'm going to buff my weapon. And we're going to have to fight an Erd Tree avatar. So get ready for that.
Gotta make sure that you step back just a little bit or your spirit summon is going to disappear. So try not to go too far past the carriage. It's not a hard fight. Pretty easy. Get a Lord's Rune for killing the Urtree Avatar. We're going to veer off to the right. Light this grace. And then we're going to head right back up these stairs. Over here, we want to take out these two soldiers first before fighting that knight up top. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Drink a flask real quick. Be very careful. That soldier does have one of those horns. He will alert everybody if you're not careful. Just coming over here for a golden ruin eight. And then right up here. We want to fight this knight first. Don't let him do that. He will raise his spear in the air and that will cause a lightning bolt to shoot the ground and it's pretty accurate. Just be careful. Let, let him do his thing for now. We're going to come back over here. Grab ourselves some tarnished golden sunflowers. And then let's heal ourselves. Put on our wondrous flask of physic. Buff our weapon. And then we're going to be fighting a lion and a perfumer. But the perfumer is not the problem. As the lion is... That's how it's done, folks. So we get a somber six, beast blood, and an old fang. And I think I got super lucky because that guy did aggro to us. So maybe do go over there, kill that knight first, and then um, fight the lion. I'm going to go back over where the lion was real quick. Come over here, we can get a few loots. Get a golden rune 10 and a hero rune 2. Over there, you can see an item. We won't be getting that until much later, probably in the uh, next video. We're just going to grab a couple loots from right here. And then right over here where this balcony is broken, or the railing is broken, not the balcony. Take out that perfumer. Okay, we're going to hop in here. And then we're going to drop off right here where this ladder is. Run all the way to the end. And we're going to kick down a ladder and turn right back around. It's just a shortcut for later if you need it. I don't think we'll ever use it if I'm being honest.
climb up to the top. I hear somebody, but I don't know where he's at. Oh, there you are. You're the guy with the horn. That was slacking at your job. All right, come up these stairs. We're back to where we fought all those soldiers in the knights. Come over here to the left. We have another enemy. So be prepared to fight. Take those guys out. Come over here for another item. Golden Rune 8. That's why I said if you're not to my level yet by the time we're done with Lindell because we get so many runes and golden runes just from killing enemies and picking up loots you will be at least 160 by the time you're done so this guy I like to wait until the fire gets close enough to me and then just run to the left pretty easy Be careful, we want to take these guys out as fast as we can. Come over here, grab ourselves a smithing stone four, and then we're gonna hop over this rail onto this broken trolley. And then we're gonna hop off. Just to the right here, we're going to have some dogs, so be prepared. I like to get a running start and use R2. Take out the big dog because the little dogs are not as bad as the big dog. Get ourselves some old fangs. Come back over here and head to the right. Pick up a golden rune nine. And then over to the left, we're going to come down here. We're going to come over here. We have a Crucible Knight to fight. If you want, you can buff your weapon. I mean, I don't think it's really that necessary, but you can. We'll get a charged R2 on him first. Get a parry. And that's how it's done. So we get a Hero's Rune 5. That's amazing. And a Golden Rune 9. Now we're going to come over here. Go up this elevator. Open this door and we are back at the very start of Lindell. So that is a very big shortcut. Now we're just going to backtrack just a little bit here. We're going to hop off the railing like we did last time. And then this time we're going to hop down onto this roof. But be careful. There is an imp that's going to fall down and attack you. So just be prepared to fight that. 
and jump across here. Then we're gonna run, jump across here. Take that imp out. And then we're gonna run, jump across here. Careful of the imp that's behind you. Just kind of follow the imps. Little treasures are going to send you in the right direction. Okay, we're going to hop over here. And then over here. And then over to this roof. Grab a stone sword key. And then we're going to hop over to this roof. And then over to this roof. And then down here, we have an item. And then we can sneak up right behind this knight. Get a backstab on him. Get the golden great shield. Pretty beefy shield. Grab some more golden runes. And then we get the imp head. Take that guy out. Want to wait for him to come over here. I was hoping the guy with the horn would not come over, but oh well. It happens. Got one more guy right here. And then we are good. We killed them all. Just want to come over here to the left. Get ourselves an arteria leaf. And then we're going to backtrack. Back where we dropped down initially, we're going to take a left. We're going to hop up here. And then over here, we're going to open this door, but we are not going to go through it. Once we're done with Lindell, we will go through these doors to continue further on into the game. But for now, we're just going to open them up and leave them be. Gonna veer off to the right here. And now instead of going right, we're gonna go left. Wanna hop on these rooftops? Go ahead and pick up the black bow. Then we're going to hop back across. Over to here. Be careful for the zombie. He's going to try to grab you. I'm not going to worry about the zombies, but there are a couple of skeletons that I am going to take care of. Because they're faster. These guys just shamble around. You have to literally stop to be killed by them or grabbed. There's two skeletons right here. Pick up another stone sword key. We're just going to hop over that. Over here, we can go over there, but we're not going to just yet. We're going to come through here. Come up this. Take all these guys out. Thanks for throwing that at me. I'm going to backstab you, bud. Let's 
hop down here. Over here we can open up this door. And get another stone sword key. Tons of stone sword keys in this episode along with golden runes. Then we're going to open up this door and we're going to come up to the top of these stairs and this should look very familiar. This is where we lit the grace earlier and activated the summoning pool and uh, killed that Erd tree, Erd tree avatar just over here. So we have finished up that whole side of Lindell. And I think over here is where we're going to end the video. And when we come back, we're going to finish up the other side of Lindell. Lindell is just so massive. It is huge. But also, I want to say something before we uh, leave is this is a great place to farm up ruins, whether you're helping people or you're just running through it and um, killing enemies. So if you're at a lower level and you want to grind a little bit to level up, this is a perfect spot. All right, now that that's all said, I would like to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.